This weekend, Su Teatro's The Miracle at Tepeyac returns to the stage. Joining us this morning, two members of the cast, Yolanda Ortega and Jesse Ogas. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, it's wonderful to be here. Thank you. Of course. And you guys said you're coming off of a busy weekend of rehearsing. Yes. You're feeling like you're in the home stretch here. Can you tell us a little bit about the show for anyone who's not familiar? Well, we're excited to open this show. It is a very, uh, it's a show that I think is near and dear to to us, to the cast, and to Su Teatro, and to the community. Mm -hmm. It tells the story of not just the apparition of Our Lady of Guadalupe to uh, the Indian peasant uh, Juan Diego, but it also is about our community in these times mm -hmm. when we reach out to those who, who really live on the margins or those of us who can help them. Yeah. And so, yeah. And there's really a rich background in history, which you're touching on a little bit. Do you want to dive a little bit yeah. deeper into that, Jesse? Well, you know, for us, what, what, the, what the play represents is really the need of hope. And, and that's the bottom line about the story of Juan Diego and the Lady of Guadalupe appearing to him to make sure that he, he goes back to the people and spreads the message of love and hope. And as you know, in these turbulent times, yes. man, we can use some love. <laughs> Especially, yeah, around the holidays, we, yes. we need that. We need to embrace that. This is actually a folk drama. If someone's not familiar with what's a folk drama, tell us about what that is. Well, I think it integrates a lot of what our traditions are about, and especially those of us who grew up with the um, faith to Our Lady of Guadalupe. Mm -hmm. She is actually the mother of the Americas, um, not just uh, in the Southwest or all of us who are Latino, but for the whole Americas. And so we are integrating um, dancing, uh, the um, folkloric dancing, uh, the Aztec dancing, Grupo Tlatloc, as well as again the um, the story of our little bit but also the story of our present time when you talk about hope we also talk about compassion mm -hmm. and I think that's what this is about especially to those who uh, find themselves without shelter or the immigrants and so and it, it is told with back. song right yeah. just so that so and people always ask is it is it all Spanish no <laughs> it's not <laughs> it's, I love a musical though <laughs> it's trilingual actually oh. because it is. we do we uh, the Vitan the the Guadalupe she speaks now what so wow. there you go. Jesse, yeah. what have you enjoyed most about, you know, just really getting involved in, in this uh, production? Besides acting with me. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> you, know, you know, for me, one of the beautiful things, I've been involved, Yolanda's been involved with Su Teatro for almost 50 years. I've been involved for over 20 years. Wow. And one of the things that, that's been really special to me being involved in this yeah. with Su Teatro as a whole, it's really learning the history mm -hmm. of Latin uh, America as a whole, but also as an American-born Latino, mm -hmm. really understanding where my heritage came from and telling those stories of struggle, of victory, of strife, of joy. Mm -hmm. It's really been an amazing journey for me. Uh, fantastic. Well, Yolanda, Jesse, thank you so much. Really quickly, tell us when and where we can see you. Well, we open uh, this Thursday, December 7th. We go on through the 17th, and you can uh, reach, uh, reach the office yeah. at Suteatro. Uh, go to the website. Uh, right. Perfect. Suteatro.org. Yeah. Right. Fantastic. Um, the, the phone lines are open. They can, you can purchase tickets. One quick thing. Yeah. On Thursdays, it's two for one. Okay. You have to say yeah. that. Okay. <laughs> Thursday, two for one. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. And thank break you. a leg. All right. You're going to be fantastic. <laughs>